So here we go, a bit more of the warning for you, and this time it's a new album, and this one is 21st Century Blood. Um, I'm generally really, really excited. I have only listened to one track from this album, which would be the first reaction I ever did for the warning. This is a lyric video, and I've also done no research on this in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so I'm going into this completely blind. I'm going into this album pretty much 99% completely blind. I will do exactly the same as what I did last time. Studio versions, live versions. Uh, it's the way it's going to go, exactly how it was last time. So, I'm generally really, really excited because I don't know what to expect in any way, shape, or form. It's something new, it's something different, and I'm generally really quite excited. I'm not going to lie. I am ready. Nearly ready. Oh yeah, and before I get into this, I do have a secondary channel, which is all solely to do with movie reviews. If you want to come over to that channel and show me some support if you enjoy watching movies, the link for that will be in the description box. It's called Cooks' Movie Reviews. If you want to come over there and support me over on that channel, that would be very, very much appreciated. But now, it's time to press play. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Um, I didn't really, really, really did not know what to expect from this, okay? I really, really didn't. I knew it would probably have some sort of an aggressive tone to it, but I didn't realise it was going to be so catchy. And it was so, so catchy, and I was absolutely loving it so much. I really, really was, and... Okay, it's... Uh, oh, okay, right. Right. I loved it. You know this? I've just said that. And I really enjoyed that, and I really, really want to see the live version. This, that song is a lot of fun, to be fair. It has this... It's so, so catchy. And I really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. I actually... I really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my new favourite warning songs, to be fair. Um, Alright. Bring myself back down. Okay, So I'll bring myself back down just a little bit. So if I was to take a stab at what this track is about... It is, it, essentially, I don't really need to say it because it's all pretty much self-explanatory. It's about the younger generation, or just everybody in this world at this moment, kind of questioning... No, I actually probably more go for more the younger kind of generation in this song, okay? About the worry of how this world is becoming. And this is what I can get from this. It's like that, are we going to regret some of the things that we did what we're doing now in the future and to be fair it does kind of you know i mean everybody in the world is kind of responsible for what happens in the future of this world okay so you know just because i mean it's generations we may not see certain things which are apparently supposed to be predicted to happen or they think that are actually happening at the moment not going too into depth with the subjects and all that kind of stuff but i get what they're trying to say here is that this world is very much controlled by all sorts of different scenarios and it's that worry about what you d what we are doing now will have a bigger effect on what happens later okay and i get it i was on board with this track and this is what i personally get from this is Yes, in my personal opinion, everything that everybody's doing now will have an extremely big knock-on effect later on down the line as well. Especially, there's a great little line in there to do with the internet, okay? And um, if you saw me smile, I was actually kind of agreeing with what they were saying here because things on the internet these days, things online, are uh, people, it's come to the point where the truth and fake stuff, you'll never really know what's truth and fake anymore, okay? Because there is, for instance, I think you know pretty much what I'm trying to say. There is a lot of stuff out there online which are to do with certain subjects or any kind of subjects which are not actually true. So it's very hard to decipher what is true and what is fake now these days. The only real way that you're going to know whether stuff is true is if you go backwards, uh, to, be fun, to be fair with you, and to read up and, on certain things. I mean, it's difficult because in the world of social media these days, and especially with what's going on now in this world, throughout the whole of this world, it's very hard to decipher what is actually going on. You know, there are... A lot of fake stuff going on at, at being spread around at the moment and all the stuff or the real stuff is out there but you've actually got to go looking for what is actually the truth now and it's just really tough and i get what they're saying and you know this will eventually eventually and it's already starting to happen is that this everything that goes on or like fake news or fake stories or fake links to stuff or this is happening that's happening this will have a colossal effect on the world in a few years time because it will get to the point where nobody will believe anything anymore okay so that decipher of what actually is true will be gone okay so it's it's one of them you know it's it's a difficult world to be in because it, I know what I think. I get, I get. It. I'm on board with it. I think I. Well, this is what I can get from this track. What I'm basically saying is that everything that's happening now will generally have an extremely big knock-on effect later on in life for other generations as well. 
I grew up without social media. I grew up without the internet, okay? And when I was a kid, all I used to do is go outside and roam, okay? I learned stuff, and I did. I didn't. I wasn't heavily addicted to learning stuff. I can hold, openly hold my hands up on that. There are things that I'm good at in life, and there's things that I'm not good at in life. Never had the internet. And I work with a couple of young people who are in their 20s. So they never... They grew up in a time when the internet or online stuff was starting to become bigger. And some of the things that they come up with, and I'm not saying this is universally across that kind of generation, some of the things you just look at and go, no, that's not true. You know, that doesn't it doesn't work like that. There's, there's no, <laughs> you know, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's that kind of, kind of how, trying to decipher what's real and what's fake. And... It, yes, there are all sorts of other different things going on in this track as well, which I'm trying to cover as well. Even politics being run by money, which I'm not going to go go into depth with, but I'm not saying that they are not either. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on board with this track, and I get what they did because yes, this this track has a very. I was rattling on there. I do apologise, but um, the tune, the the song itself is really, really kind of catchy, but they're trying to over a very quite a very strong point in my personal opinion and i generally love it the music music wise i really went off on one there i do apologize guys um the music wise i absolutely loved it's absolutely fantastic the vocals in this is absolutely fantastic i do apologize for going off on one there a little bit but it was just a subject which i i got it you know and it will have an effect everything that they were pretty much saying everything you do now will have a, a domino effect later on for other generations it's as simple as that it's the way it is but it's an absolutely fantastic drag i really really enjoyed it i do apologize for rattling on there a little bit um but i really really enjoyed it so on that note please tell me what you think put it in the comments down below as normal i hope you all have a great rest of the day whatever you're doing please take care and goodbye <laughs>